Thank you for joining us today for this demonstration of the Microsoft Dynamics Business Analyzer for Windows 8, the first Windows 8 application available for Microsoft Dynamics ERP clients. The Microsoft Dynamics Business Analyzer displays business intelligence information from your Microsoft Dynamics ERP solution, including Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012, Microsoft Dynamics GP 2013, and Microsoft Dynamics SL 2011. When started for the first time, Microsoft Dynamics Business Analyzer opens in the sample mode, displaying reports from a couple of Dynamics companies. As you can see, multi-company reports are being displayed as well. These are reports which display data aggregated from several companies. There are cases when the number of reports per company is too large to be displayed on one screen. For this reason, we've implemented a zoom feature. You can click the minus button in the lower right corner or zoom out on the tablet device. You are then presented with display names of the companies whose reports are being displayed on the hub page. Once back on the hub page, click on the report image to navigate to the specific report and see the report in more detail. To see a list of available actions for each report, use the right click button on your mouse or swipe up on your tablet. As you can see, for a specific report, we can see more information about the report itself, copy the report image, refresh the report, or start a conversation using link with our contact and discuss the report status. As I noted before, sample mode is used when you start an application for the first time and don't have a report server set up. In order to use Microsoft Dynamics Business Analyzer, you need to have a report server set up with Dynamics ERP reports deployed. Supported products are Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 R2, Microsoft Dynamics GP 2013, and Microsoft Dynamics SL 2011 FP1. For more details about prerequisites or report deployment, please refer to the user manual or TechNet articles. So now let's go ahead and configure our Microsoft Dynamics Business Analyzer. Navigate to the settings charm on the right hand side and choose configuration. As you can see, the sample mode toggle is turned on. Let's switch it off and connect to a live report server. Both native and SharePoint integrated modules of the report server are supported. In case the SharePoint integrated mode is selected, the user must enter the URI of the SharePoint library where the Microsoft Dynamics ERP reports are deployed. For this demo, we will choose the native mode, so we need to go back to configuration and change the report server mode to native. We then need to input the URI of the report server where in our case Microsoft Dynamics GP 2013 reports have been deployed. In case reports are deployed to the root folder of the SSRS, we also need to enter the name of the subfolder where Microsoft Dynamics ERP reports are deployed. In our case we don't have a subfolder, so we'll go ahead and click connect. And once the application is configured, we'll be taken back to the hub page where you can see that the reports are loading. As we are connecting to the new report server for the first time, you can see that no reports have been added yet. So we are directed to the Add Reports by Role page so we can go ahead and add reports to our hub. On this page, a set of roles are displayed. Roles enable us to easily add predefined reports important for selected roles. In this instance, we'll go ahead and choose the Accounting Manager role and navigate back to the hub page. Selected reports are fetched asynchronously, so you can see them appear one by one as they are being retrieved from the report server. When the report image is retrieved, it has been cached on our local machine, so the next time we want to see that report, it will be displayed from the cache version in order to speed up displaying. If we want to render all reports with the latest data, we can select Refresh from the bottom application bar on the hub page or on the specific report on the page for that report. When selecting a role, predefined reports for all companies will be retrieved. In our case, since we only have the sample company Fabricam reports deployed, then all eight reports defined for the accounting manager role are displayed. If we had more companies deployed on our server, the same report would be shown for each company. Now let's navigate to a specific report. We can see all details for the selected report more closely. In the bottom application bar, there are a number of actions available to us. We can see report info with the company display name, report name, and time when the report was rendered and retrieved from the server. We can also copy the report image for use in other programs. Clicking on the view action will open the report on the report server inside a browser and allow changing of all available report parameters. The edit action will open a report builder and allow us to make changes to the report if we have the privileges needed. As you can see in this report we have a date parameter so we have the change date action so we can update the parameter and render the report with a different date. 
And if we need to discuss the report status with our colleagues, we can click on the link action, which will open the Link for Windows 8 application and enable us to start a conversation with our contacts directly from the application. Clicking the refresh action will re-render the report on the report server and retrieve a new report image. As you can see, the rendering timestamp is updated. While we're on the report page, we can navigate to other reports using the left or right buttons or by swiping left or right on our tablet device. At any time, we can navigate back to the hub page using the back button. Once back on the hub page, we can add additional reports to our hub using the Add Reports by Role feature. We have already added the reports for the Accounting Manager role. If we want, we can go ahead and add reports intended for other roles as well. Another way is to add specific reports we need using the Select Reports option. When the Select Reports button is clicked, the Business Analyzer fetches all available reports on the report server and displays it to the user. On this report server, you can see that we have Fabricam reports deployed. There are also multi-company reports which aggregate data from several companies. Now let's add a specific multi-company report and navigate to the main page. Once we're back on the hub page, the report we have selected will be downloaded from the server and displayed. So when we navigate to a multi-company report, we can see the data for all selected companies. In case there was an error with the report rendering, a default image is displayed, as shown here. Multi-company reports have a report parameter which enables us to select companies this report is rendered for. Let us update the company parameter for the selected report and select only the sample company. As you can see, only data for Fabricam is then displayed on the report. We can also navigate to other reports from the hub page and update date parameters or start a link conversation. Now let's go back to our hub page. To remove reports you no longer use, click on Select Reports from the top application bar. Inside our company folder, all default subfolders are shown, as well as some of the custom reports deployed manually. Notice that on each folder that the number of selected reports inside a folder is displayed. We can see that there are two reports selected in the financial group, and then we can drill down to the charts and KPIs and see which reports are selected. If we want to remove those reports, all we need to do is deselect them and navigate away. If we click back, we can notice that there are no more reports selected in the Charts and KPIs folder or in the Financials folder. In some cases, we'll want to add all reports within a specific folder. To do that, we need to navigate to that folder and click Select All from the bottom application bar. Once we navigate back to the hub page, all the reports we selected, which in this instance is 40 of them, uh, will be retrieved and displayed. Also notice that the two reports we deselected are removed from the hub page. When all of the reports have downloaded, we can then drill down even deeper and see specific information regarding each report. Now if we go back to the hub page, we can see that there are too many reports being rendered and displayed. Since we do not need all of these reports being displayed in our hub, let's go ahead and delete a couple. Again, we'll go to the top and click Select Reports. In this example, we want to navigate within Fabricam to the Sales Reports. If we want to remove all reports from the Sales subfolder, we can select the folder and navigate to the Clear Selection action in the bottom app bar. This action will remove all reports from the Sales folder, including all of its subfolders. Once we navigate back to the hub page, we can see that all the sales reports have been removed. As we noted before, all reports retrieved from the server are being cached. Every time we hit the refresh button, the cache is cleared and the reports are re-rendered and fetched from the server and the cache is updated. In case we lose internet connectivity or the connection to the report server is unavailable, we will be presented with the connection lost page. We will be informed about the report server unavailability and offered to go to home and view cached reports. This is very useful when traveling on a plane when internet connection is not available, so we can continue working with the data before and after takeoff. In case there is an error with the specific report retrieval, or in case the report has not been locally cached, the default report image is shown. Once the connection has been reestablished, we can do a refresh and get the latest data.